bad words gone yet, Carrie? Have the bad words gone? You said to close my eyes, you didn't say to open them again. Thank you so much for that amazing introduction, Carrie. I feel the same about you. I love you enormously. You're my little sister from another mister <laughs> and mother. Dear Thomas! Hello. You've been away this week. I thought I'd welcome you home with a little treat. I felt really bad for you over the last few months. We both uh, stopped eating meat, but I've gone veggie and you've gone vegan. And I feel sorry for you in the cake department. Everyone knows that I love cake. Cake, cake, cake. But you can't have cake because a lot of cake has egg in it. So I thought I'd make you a cake, plus it ties in nicely with something uh, Children in Need have asked me to do. BBC Children in Need are getting people to bake this year. Bake and sell your goods. To raise awareness and to raise lots of money for their charity and all the goodness that they do. And I think they're having a big TV night on a 14th of November, I want to say. Could be wrong, but I think that's the day. I'm going to make you a carrot cake, so when you walk in the door tonight, or when you do your next vlog for Sunday, you're going to be able to sit there and have a lovely bit of carrot cake. The oven is preheating. It's preheating to 170 degrees. I have two trays that have been greased with uh, coconut oil. Large bowl. In this bowl, we are going to put two and a half cups of self-raising flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. Now, I have bought Bicarbonate, bicarbonate, bicarbonate of soda. I think it's the same thing. Three teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of salt. And now we're just gonna mix all that together. Like that, look. I'm gonna do the whole video like this because it's gonna be really easy. Once that's mixed together, pop it to one side. Get another bowl. And in this bowl, we shall put half a cup of apple sauce. I love apple sauce. One cup of almond milk. Now this is almond milk that I made earlier. I just realised a mistake. One cup of sugar is I'm got, what I'm going to put in next. So I've only got granulated sugar. I've not got cane sugar, which is what they asked for. Is cane sugar the nice like brown sugar? In there? We've started, so we'll finish. One cup of sugar. Half a cup of coconut oil. Mix all that in together. And now we have two bowls of goodness and I'm going to put the dry stuff in with the wet stuff. of grated carrots into your mix. Ooh. As she says, fold. Don't mix, fold. Now I am going off recipe for this one and I'm going to put in a few raisins because I love raisins, I think you love raisins, so I'm going to put some raisins in. Put a handful in. And I forgot to put in vanilla extract earlier, so put in two teaspoons of this. As you can tell, I'm very good at following recipes. Another thing it says in this recipe is to have everything in one sponge. And I'm not going to do that because I want to make like a two layer cake. So I'm actually going to divide my uh, uh, ingredients into two different trays and go for that look. Fingers crossed, it works. So now you've got all your mix, it looks all lovely. I'm going to separate into two. I've smoothed my mixture out to make it all look nice. And now I'm going to pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to have a coffee and go hang out with Mario and Buzz while that's happening. Oh, I'm going to come back and make the icing at some point with the cake's got to cool before I put it on so there's, there's no rush. But while that's still cooking, I thought I'd just get ahead of myself and do the icing, which is very, very important. I've gone off piece a little bit. The, uh, the uh, recipe I've used for the actual cake is from loveandlemons.com great name for a website, though I just added in the raisins and then for the icing I've gone off and I've done my own thing and this is what's in it. The zest and <laughs> I was really impressing myself but I actually caught that whilst looking somewhere else. Okay, the zest and the juice of one orange. 115 grams of veggie butter, 170 grams of icing sugar and then a little drop of vanilla extract. Yummy! Just whisk it all together. I have just taken my two carrot cake bits out of the oven. These <laughs> one, the other one's over there. As you can see, they've really risen. Yeah, they look done. I've done the little test, you know, where you stick a, a wooden. Ooh! <gasps> the bottom is loose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could 
could have been a dissolved to dawn. And I am going to leave these now to cool down and then I shall take them out and ice them in a little bit. So now that these are a tiny bit cooler, I'm going to take off the top of one of them to slice it so that it lies flat and remove them from the bases. These are both quite cool now. And the icing, oh, that was another disaster. I added loads more icing sugar because it looked like it was kind of curdling a little bit. Uh, but now it looks really nice and shiny and yummy. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this, put it in the middle, take, put it on the, uh, on the base, which is the one that you've cut the top off of. And that's my first thing. And then I'm going to put the top on and then I'm going to put some more on top of the cake. Let's go! So there's my base covered. Looks like it's curdling again. Right, so I'm going to place it carefully on top. It just now looks like one whole complete cake. It doesn't actually look like it's got anything in the middle. Or maybe that little bit in the middle will just give it a bit more moisture, hopefully, I'm thinking. I just thought it looked more like a Victoria sponge, to be honest. I like them looking like that. I'm going to pop some on top. You can't see this. You can just go by my facial expressions. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure what it looks like now. But, that is really nice ice cream. And then, Children in Need, those lovely favourite Children in Need, actually sent me these little sprinkles. So to match Pudsy's little eye patch, I'm going to sprinkle them with these. Sprinkle my cake with these. Yay! That is my cake for you, my vegan cake. It's a welcome home cake. It's a thank you for inviting me and letting me in. Uh, join you and Carrie on this Dear Tom Dear Carrie journey. It's going to be beautiful. I hope this cake serves you well in your vegan ways. Oh no, now you two both do, now, uh, you know, the, I've been this person, or Carrie does, you know, I look like this type thing, and I don't have that. You're looking great, and I'm looking like this. I don't know why, I don't know why my little fingers out. You <laughs> was going to be a thumbs up. Oh, and I forgot one minor detail. One minor detail that might be a huge detail. If you want this cake here, you're going to have to cough up. That's right. This is for children in need and this is for charity. Charity, charity, charity. I bake, you pay. Okay, you want a vegan cake? You pay, mister, you pay. Pay! You know what? This icing might not look good. It tastes freaking amazing. There's actually quite a lot left in here. And I think if I eat it all, I could actually be sick.